Hello Curious! For all of you who have been eagerly waiting the second season of The Witcher, we have great news! Starting today, December 17th, you can sit back and watch the new episodes coming to Netflix. And to celebrate, we're going to tell you about two important people from this production today. Ever since the information announcing the creation of the series appeared a few years ago, a lot has been said about Henry Cavill, who plays the main character. However, in the story told, two ladies, Yennefer and Ciri, are also extremely important. And yet it seems that Freya Allen and Anya Chalotra, the actress playing these roles, have not gained much popularity. Is this actually the case? What is known about them? Why were fans disappointed when Chalotra was chosen to play Yennefer? And is Alan really going to quit the show soon? Stay tuned until the very end because we've prepared a lot of interesting information for you. But before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you're always up to date with the hottest celebrity gossip. When it was officially announced in May 2017 that Netflix would produce The Witcher series based on the iconic fantasy saga by Polish writer Andrzej Sapkowski, people all over the world were eagerly waiting for more information about the emerging series. Of course, everyone was curious who would play the main character Geralt of Rivia, and when the names of the cast were announced, there was a huge commotion around Henry Cavill. Millions of people associated the actor who was cast as the lone monster hunter. After all, Henry Cavill has quite an extensive filmography to his credit and became famous on a large scale primarily as Clark Kent, defending people from evil as Superman. The now 38-year-old actor first played the iconic superhero in 2013, and we have already seen him in this role three times, starting with the title Man of Steel, followed by Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice and Justice League. It's impossible to talk about The Witcher and the cast of the series without also mentioning the key character and the actor to whom that role belongs. But today's video is not dedicated to Henry, so if you would like to know more relevant information about him, check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. For now though, stay with us until the end. The epic story of the Polish writer has resonated around the world, and the books about the witch's fate have been translated into many different languages. There was a time when the English language edition of The Last Wish, which is the first work introducing Geralt of Rivia, was even on the New York Times bestseller list, and Sapkowski himself, a few years ago, ranked on Amazon's list of the 20 most popular fantasy authors. Long before the Netflix series, the Polish 2001 film The Witcher and comic books were based on what the writer had written. However, the real furor The Witcher universe made was among gamers. A series of computer and mobile games created by CD Projekt Red Studio turned out to be extremely profitable. The Polish game publisher, responsible among others for the famous cyberpunk game, earned billions of dollars on The Witcher. Of course, we could talk about it a lot more, but why are we mentioning all this? Well, when the first season of the series premiered on December 20th, 2019, it was breaking popularity records among the streaming giant's entries. Back in January 2020, Netflix reported that The Witcher recorded the highest viewership of all the first seasons ever to hit the platform. In just one month, the series was viewed in 76 million households. It would seem, then, that after the first season of such a high-profile production, the entire cast will enjoy great popularity, but that is not quite the case. Although everyone is talking about Cavill and his role, it seems that the actresses who play two very important roles are of little interest. And yet Destiny intertwines Geralt's fate with a powerful sorceress for whom he has feelings and a young princess hiding a dangerous secret. From the very beginning of the series, we get to know both Yennefer, played by Anya Chalotra, and Ciri, played by Freya Allen. And now we finally get to see the continuation of what the show's crew has been working on for a long time, because we just got the premiere of the second season, which was released on Netflix today, December 17th. Wanting to avoid any spoilers, we will not tell you what awaits viewers, but there will definitely be a lot of scenes with Geralt, Ciri and Yennefer on screen. What do you know about these actresses though? Let's start perhaps with the female character who ignites Geralt's feelings. Anya Chalotra was born on July 21st, 1996 in Wolverhampton, United Kingdom. She grew up with her two siblings in a small town of Lower Penn, and her father is of Indian origin and her mother is English. After completing her primary education, Anya decided to pursue her love for acting. She completed a one-year preparatory course at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts Drama School, and then went on to further her studies at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama for three years. Before she was cast as Yennefer, she couldn't boast a substantial portfolio. 
She had appeared in a few theatrical productions, but in fact, her professional career began to take off just before it was announced in the fall of 2018 that Charlotte would play the lead role as Yennefer of Wengenberg. For it was in 2018 that she appeared in two television titles. One was The ABC Murders, which is an adaptation of Agatha Christie's novel about detective Hercule Poirot, and Wonderlust, which in turn is an adaptation of a play of the same name, produced by the British television station BBC One and Netflix. So just as Anya was beginning to build her career path, Great Fortune smiled on her, which brought her career breakthrough, the role of Yennefer. And considering the fact that The Witcher produced by the streaming giant turned out to be a huge hit, one would think that the popularity of the actress playing one of the main female roles would skyrocket. However, that hasn't quite been the case. So far, there really isn't much information about the 25-year-old, and her Instagram account is currently followed by less than a million people. And at the time of writing our episode, there are only 54 photos on her account and not much to learn about the actress's own life from them. It's worth mentioning that while Anya's acting skills alone are mostly rated very positively, many Witcher fans were not happy with the filmmaker's decision to cast her as Yennefer. Why the disappointment? Well, according to some fans of The Witcher, Charlotte was too young to play the role. They also felt the age difference between her and her series partner was inappropriate, as Henry Cavill is actually 13 years older than her. Some also pointed out that Anya simply has a too dark complexion for the role of Yen. However, the decision to cast Charlotte was supported by series creator Lauren Schmidt, who emphasised that the most suitable actors were chosen to play their roles. What else can we tell you about Anya? According to online information, she is 168cm tall and currently lives in London. And what about new productions? Has The Witcher broadened her professional horizons? Well, for sure. As you can see, according to media reports, Charlotte Wright aspires to be one of the most famous actresses in the UK and beyond. Currently, two titles in which Anya's name is visible have been announced in post-production for 2022, but she will probably only lend her voice to them. Well, considering the fact that working on the set of The Witcher is certainly time-consuming, one can assume that the actress, who is new to show business, doesn't have much time for bigger roles in other productions. Or maybe she hasn't received such offers yet? After all, the busy Henry Cavill divides his time on film sets in such a way that five different titles are currently being talked about with his participation, including the crime adventure Enola Holmes 2. Ok, we've said a lot about Anya Chalotra, but what about her fellow Witcher character, Princess Ciri? Freya Allen was born on September 6, 2001 in Oxfordshire, United Kingdom. And as a trivia note, she attended Headington School, the same school as Harry Potter star Emma Watson. Despite the fact that Freya is a few years younger than Anya, her name has been mentioned in more titles. Freya initially starred in short films, but then she landed some small roles in series such as Into the Badlands and The War of the Worlds. And as you know that in The Witcher, she was also originally supposed to have a small role. However, when the creators had trouble finding someone to play Ciri, Sophie Holland, who was responsible for casting the series, noticed Freya's potential and suggested that she should be given a chance to play the princess that Geralt will be protecting. It seems that young Freya has definite career plans and knows well what she wants. The 20-year-old confessed in a recent interview that she doesn't intend to play Ciri for too long. As she stressed, she loves her role. However, as she said, but at the same time, you know, I want to be able to be an actress and play other roles and not just be Siri for my whole life. And while the show's creator has revealed that she's thinking about seven seasons of The Witcher and Henry Cavill has made no secret of the fact that he could play Geralt for seven seasons, as long as the story honors Andrzej Sapkowski's work, Freya isn't promising to stay with the production that long. As she confessed, she already has something of a set boundary in her head that she wants to reach it when it comes to the series. She assured, however, that she will definitely appear in season 3, for which she has already seen fragments of the scripts and she added that she is really delighted with them. And when it comes to social media, the 20 year old likes her setmate is also followed by less than a million people at this point. As you can see, Freya has a talent not only for acting, the actress is passionate about painting and sometimes posts her work online. Alan is also starting to reach for more. In 2020, she starred in a miniseries, The Third Day, and the movie Gunpowder Milkshake. On the other hand, in post-production is the horror film Baghead, in which she is expected to play the lead role. So curious, are you planning to watch the new season of The Witcher in the coming days? In your opinion, do you think Freya Allen and Anya Chalotra get too little attention given the popularity of the series? And which one do you think is more likely to have a serious acting career? 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel so that you're always up to date with the hottest celebrity gossip. Until next time.